can melt the hardest heart. You can warm the coldest light. Now, when I speak about the Christotherapy, I am speaking about looking at Jesus in his humanity. Look, we look at Jesus in his divinity and we don't find difficulty in that. And because of that, many times we are afraid to look at Jesus as a man. Because we think that looking at him as a man, as a human being, we are degrading him. While Jesus says, I am the son of God, I am the son of man. Now, in the Hebrew language, when you say, I am the son of God, you are saying, I am God. When you are saying, I am the son of man, I am saying, I am man. And in fact, the Jews never thought of looking at Jesus as the son of God, but they condemned him because he was declaring himself God. So they were understanding what does it mean, son of God. I am God. And I am man, completely man. Now completely man, not only in his body and in all the needs of his body, but also in his psyche. Also in his emotions. And here we find Jesus, who emotionally was passing from the same struggles we are passing through. And I give you some examples. For example, Jesus had fears. And big fears. First of all, he was not ashamed in saying very clearly, I am scared of this hour. I am afraid. So Jesus said it clearly. And Jesus sweat the blood. Now do you know what does it mean, sweating blood? A Slovak doctor explained it to me. He told me, when we are sent to unearth people under the debris of an earthquake, many times we find those um, under the skin of those people that we unearth from the debris, flushes of blood. And those flushes of blood are a psychosomatic effect of the fear that arrives at its peak. So when the fear arrives at its peak, the body reacts. And it reacts by these flushes of blood that come under the skin. Now he told me, imagine, Jesus was sweating blood. So Jesus in that moment was at the peak of fear. At the peak of fear. Now I ask, why Jesus wanted to pass from this fear, from the experience of fear? And the, the answer is, so that through his fear, he could redeem my fear. And this is the Christotherapy. Now try to understand. Through his sufferings, he redeemed my suffering. So through his sufferings today, I can baptize my suffering. I am, I make you reflect on one thing. Jesus was afraid of death 
Isn't that true? He is so afraid of that. I am scared. He trembled. Don't imagine that Jesus going on Calvary, he was singing the Alleluia. <laughs> he was crying, he was trembling, he was full of fears. While Paul was not so afraid. In fact, Paul puts a question. If I had to choose between remaining with you and dissolving myself with God, I would prefer to go to God. He was not afraid, at least as much as Jesus was. St. Francis was calling that my sister. I don't know how many of us can call that sister, but Francis was calling that my sister. So Francis, after all, was not so afraid. We find, for example, Ignatius of Antioch, who was thrown with lions. And he said to Christians, don't ask mercy for me. Let me be a bread for these lions. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of St. Agnes. Just a child of 12, year, 12 years old. And yet, she gave her life. How is it? How is it that Jesus is afraid? Paul is not afraid. Francis is not afraid. Agnes is not afraid. How is it? Because Jesus, through his death, <coughs> redeemed our death. So Paul now can say, where is this thing, your sting, all that? You scare me no more. Because now Jesus, through his death, redeemed it. As Jesus, through his suffering, redeemed my suffering, as through his fear, redeemed my fear. So the fear of Jesus is a redemptive fear. Because many times we look at, oh, at Jesus only in his physical suffering, but not in his psychological suffering. And the psychological suffering is redemptive, as much as redemptive is his physical suffering. So Jesus suffered fear, so that when I am afraid, I go and cling to the frightened Jesus. I go to cling to the frightened Jesus so that his fear could redeem my fear. You can melt the hardest heart You can warm the coldest light you can heal the broken soul, Lord, I bring myself.